time. That's a big jump. <laughs> Welcome to the Devil's Toilet Bowl. So what on earth is the Devil's Toilet Bowl? Of course, you're going to have to watch till the end of the video to find out. So this video is one of our explorations of Cornwall. As you may know by now, we spend our time exploring Cornwall's coastline via co-steering and cliff jumping our way around the county. This video is all the way back from 2020. Today, we were exploring a little section of coast that was filling a gap, and it's in the area of Porthmere Cove. Now, it's not the famous Porthmere in St Ives, there's actually another Porthmere, it's only a few miles away from that, um, kind of in the wilderness around Zenner. So uh, join us as we get stuck in, see what we discover, and of course, wait around and see what the Devil's Toilet Bowl is all about. If you're watching this far, you should be subscribed, so hit the button, hit the bell, and of course, hit the likes. Let's go. Cornwall doesn't get much better than this, people. This was an amazing heat wave that we had at the beginning of 2020. And today, I was joined by Lee, one of Kerno Co Steering's longest serving guides. And whenever Lee's around, you are guaranteed some adventure. Man, that's a big jump. So this was the easiest way down, this colossal starting jump. And we were off. This area we started at is known as Robin's Rocks. And then we swiftly made our way to Porthmere Point. So many people think co-steering is just about cliff jump, but there's so much more to it. And one of the wonderful things is uh, playing in all these coastal features, these sort of gullies and stuff, and getting washed around in them is endless amounts of fun. <laughs> Looks like shallowness might be an issue. <laughs> we moved on from Porthmere Point to the area of Long Khan and Windy Zorn. absolutely stunning conditions during this period. There were weeks of this flat calm seas and just Caribbean-esque weather. Oh, uh, oh man, can you get through that? That would be f I don't think you could. <laughs> Look at those colours, absolutely stunning. Come on. <laughs> We've now arrived at a location known at least to climbers as Windy Zorn. So it's a tiny little uh, gully, home to a few rock climbing routes. And as we discovered, into a lovely little cliff jump as well. If you get up there, mate, I reckon you're on. Yeah. 
and with that we left Windy Zorn behind and quested on. So we were now heading into Porthmere Cove itself and it's a wonderful place. It's uh, very remote and not very well known but it's certainly worth a visit if you're in the area. But it certainly was worth a visit the day we were there. Again, we were just enjoying this stunning run of weather and in many ways the less said about 2020 the better of course due to the pandemic but as lockdown started to ease and we could travel locally we were so lucky to be in Cornwall and able to do this I'm gonna have a look in here man cool another huge part of coastering for me if you watch the channel you already know this but it's exploring the sea caves that you find innumerable sea caves along almost any stretch of coastline they're fascinating places and uh, very little explored amazing rock they're very otherworldly strange colors very dark often quite eerie places but wonderful things to explore. Beautiful Zorn here again. Look at this uh, watercolours. Absolutely, uh, you don't get many days like this. We were now leaving Porthmere Cove behind and heading around the area underneath Carn Moyle and it was full of networks of uh, little gullies like this. led us into yet another crevice in the coastline we had to explore and I know I'm somewhat evangelical about spreading the good word of coasteering but this is the stuff I really enjoy checking out all these places that I'm sure in many cases it's very likely no people have been in there before you know why would they have you know a lot of coastal explorers are sea kayakers and there's no way you're gonna get a kayak in here that's a wicked view. There you go, getting slammed against the back by a wave. What's not to like? And after that tricky uh, bit of squeezing, we discovered this sea cave right at the back. Skylight. Bye bye. We were now coming to what was going to be the end of our route at the Great Zorn. And I knew this was the end because it was a link to a previous section we'd done to the west of here. And this Caribbean style coastline continues it 
here I'm just pointing out some uh, interesting geology to Lee. Contact between some granite and some slate. Wild. And then we discovered this incredible rock pool. So if you're enjoying watching our explorations of the coastline of Cornwall, as well as other parts of the world, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to get the notifications so you know about our new videos. And please give us a like, give us a comment, let us know what you'd like to see, where you'd like to see us exploring. But you've been waiting for it guys, as promised, here is the Devil's Toilet Bowl. So it was just this small sort of pothole worn out into the granite and as the water sort of swirled in and out it was a uh, it was really fun feature to play in but at the same time there was this possibility of sort of being dragged out through that very shallow uh, channel that fed the toilet bowl and uh, if you caught it at the wrong moment you would uh, almost certainly be rattled down the rocks at the base of it so uh, it was good fun but did have to be uh, treated with a lot of caution as well but what a cool little discovery this was and uh, certainly kept us entertained for a little while while we were in here chaos of the toilet bowl it was back to the more sedate style of coasting we'd been enjoying up to now and that's the great zone in there and this crevice believe it or not marked the end of the previous exploration coming from the other direction so I've reached the end Making our way up, see if there's any last bits and bobs, and look at that view, those colours, and of course, one final jump. Thank you for watching guys, stick around and join us for our next adventure.